we will now be talking about uh, the vector extension for RISC-V. Uh, we will be referencing from RISC-V's GitHub specification uh, located on this link. Uh, to start off, these are some basics and terminologies. As mentioned by Stanley, vector registers hold uh, n m-bit values. To relate this to the terminologies we will be using later, SEW is the single element uh, in a vector element which has m bits. Uh, so it is the atomic element of a vector. Uh, VLAN is the number of bits in a vector which is uh, the total bits, so n times m bits. VLMAX is the number of vector elements which is n. So um, just like uh, the integer and floating point registers, vector registers are also V0 to V31. Vector mask and carry bits use the V0 vector. This is the control status register of the vector ar architecture. First is V start for vector start position. VXAT for fixed point saturate flag, VXRM for uh, fixed point rounding mode, VCSR for vector control and status register, VL for vector length, V type for the data type of the vector, VLAN B for uh, vector register length in bytes. First, we will be talking about V start and VLAN since they are very similar. Uh, V start specifies the index of the first element to be executed by a vector instruction. So it specifies the wh where the vector will start. So next is uh, similarly VLAN registers the register that holds an unsigned integer specifying the number of elements to be updated by a vector instruction. So similar with V start, it uh, it specifies where the the vector should stop updating. So n note that if V start is less than V len, uh, I mean, if it should be V start less than V len, because if V start is greater than V len, no element operation will happen. So it will overlap. Uh, VLAN should be greater than zero also because if it is zero, then no element operation will happen. So as you can see so, so example on the example below, uh, if V start equals five, it will not uh, update zero to four, but it will start on five. Um, and, and if VLAN is 26, it will stop on 25 and 26 and onward will not be updated. Next, we will be talking about uh, VXRM and VXSAT. So VXRM is the uh, indicator for which rounding method to use. So 00, zero is round to nearest up, zero 01 round to nearest even, 10 zero is truncate, 11 one is round to odd. VXSAT is the Vector fixed point saturation flag. If this flag is set, uh, saturate the value to fit into the destination. Lastly, V type uh, is divided into different groups. So, first is the 0 to 2 VL mol. It is for a grouping of vector registers. As you can see, it is mapped here. 000 is no grouping, 32 vector registers. 001 is 16 vector registers. VLAN is 2x, and so on. 100 is reserved, and 101 to 111 are fractional VLANs. VSEW is the vector standard element width. Uh, it is also mapped from 000 to 111. Uh, however, it is only up to 64 since right now risk v uh, does not implement 128 to 1024 yet 
Next is a single bit for VTA and VMA. Vector, it indicates if vector tail is agnostic or undisturbed, or mask is agnostic or undisturbed. Uh, everything in between uh, VMA and VILL, which is 8 to 30 bits, 8 to 30, are reserved. Uh, the last bit, VIL, is, is uh, an indicator if uh, if it is set, any vector that relies on V type will throw an exception. It's the visualization for uh, how Elmul groups the vectors. So Elmul equals one is as expected, V zero to V thirty one, which is normal. Uh, Elmul two, it groups the vectors into two. So V zero, uh, when you access V zero, you also access v0 v1 same with v2 v it access v3 v4 v5 and so on the same for elmo 4 and elmo 8 uh, v0 is a group of uh, v0 v1 v2 v3 and so on the same concept applies to uh fractional elmos so this is elmo 1 V, uh, this is one vector, so if it is L more one half, uh, it only accesses half the vector. Similarly with one fourth and one eighth, so one fourth of the vector, one eighth of the vector. Next, uh, before we proceed with uh, the actual arithmetic instructions we will first talk about the format there are many parts to an instruction so as we can see here v blue green red and the purple so the blue part indicates if the operation will be performed on a floating point or not so this can be removed or vf next is the operation of choice so we can put add, subtract, or etc. Next is the if the red. Uh, it indicates whether it is a vector to vector, vector to sc scalar, vs or vx, vector to immediate, immediate, or even scalar to vector. Next is the mask, which uh, Stanley talked about a while ago, which uh, indicates if uh, an element should be processed or not. So example, uh, v op, v operation dot vv, which is a vector to vector. Uh, we will be storing the a result of vs2 op vs1 to vd, which is the destination. In addition to last slide, there is also something called widening and narrowing, uh, which can be placed after the V and F. So W N W specifies if the destination will be widened or N narrowed. Same with uh, here dot V or W specified if vs2 i'm sorry this is a type of vs2 will be widened so example of this is for example vw op dot vv means we will be widening the vd for uh vs2 op vs1 so two times the single element width when we say vw op dot wv will be widening the destination and the source uh, there are also different ways of loading and saving data in vectors first is the normal load and save so it's loads and saves sequentially so whatever order v1 is in uh, whatever order the address here is in it will save the value sequentially to the destination Next is stride, gather, and scatter. 
if set to one, it is it works exactly like the first load and save. However, when the stride is lo uh, set to two, it uh, skips one and takes every other element. So uh, zero is mapped to zero, two is mapped to one, four is mapped to two, and six ma mapped to three. So similarly with other stride values, for example, three, it will skip two and take that every other two elements. Next is the index gather and scatter. So this utilizes uh, what is called the load index vector or a save ve index vector, depending on the, the uh, instruction, which indicates which index belongs to the destination or where it belongs in the destination. In this example, since the first element is four, it takes the fourth element from the address and places it into VD0, the first element of VD. So if this is a save, it's um, the other way around. So if VD, if the save index vector is four, the first element of VD0 gets saved into the address four. Next is segment unit thread. This is uh, similar to the stride gather and scatter. So except for uh, a new parameter, which is n fields. If n fields is, is equal to four, it will, uh, V0 would load in just like it was a stride of four. Right, sorry. if Yes, if next is um, segment unit stride, uh -huh. which is like a stride gather scatter, except you did do it on n vectors, or you can call it n fields. If n fields is equal to four, V0 would load in just like it was a stride of four. So zero, four, eight. Uh, V1 would also load like it was a stride of four, except we start from one, so one, five, nine, and so on. Two, six, ten, three, seven, eleven. Lastly, uh, we combine both index and uh, stride. So uh, we, we can see on the example, the end field is four. And the index vector is five two six eight. Uh, v zero will receive uh, five two six eight, which is the index vector, and the succeeding vectors will just increment by one. So six three seven nine, four eight ten, and so on until n fields is four. Proceeding to vector inter integer arithmetic instructions, I will be going into detail on instructions that have a uh, different implementation or different in general from scalar in implement instructions, since most of them have the format of uh, VS2I operation VS1I or VS2I operation RS1. Uh, just like add, subtract, uh, logical instructions, bitwise, uh, bit shift, multiply, divide, uh, comparison, min max. So the zero extend sign extend simply just uh, take apart takes a part of uh, the source the uh, source vector and zero extends or sign extends it into the destination vector. Uh, vector comparisons work just like scalar comparisons, except the destination is written with one or zero, depending on the, depending if the condition is satisfied or not. Min max is similar to uh, comparison where min max is written in the dis destination. So comparing element to element or element to register and whichever is higher or lower, it will be written to 
the vector destination. Uh, next, we'll be talking about uh, you know, add with carry and subtract with borrow. So there are two elements to uh, this in this uh, concept. So first is VADC, which computes the sum of uh, element to, uh, computes the sum and stores it in VD. And VAM, VMADC computes only the carry and stores it in VD mask. So this is the format. It can be VADC.VV, VX, or VI. Uh, so if it is a vector, it just uh, adds element to element. However, if it is dot .VX or dot .VI, it will add a whole vector with the value with a scalar value. So same with VMADC. Next for the multiply add subtract or multiply accumulate. Uh, these are the formats. So VM add that V, VM ACC, which is uh, accumulate VM sub and VM sac. Next is the vector merge, basically a select between the elements of a vector. So it does this um, utilizing the mask. So as you can see here is in the comment, so V0 mask, if it is uh, one, we choose the VS1. If it is zero, otherwise, we will be choosing the VS2. So it does this for every element and stores it into the vector destination. Uh, this is similar with uh, registers or scalar values. So if it is one, it will choose the scalar value and zero, it will choose the corresponding element. Uh, vector move works similar with uh, scalar, scalar moves. It is vector to vector, element per element. So if we want to move uh, VS1 to VD, now nah, we can use VMV. Uh, if, however, uh, we pass in a scalar value to VMV, um, it will uh, map the, uh, it will move the scalar value into all elements of the vector. Next, for floating point arithmetic instructions, uh, so some of these or most of these we have already discussed with the integer and it works similarly. So uh, just like add, subtract, multiply, multiply, add, sub, multiply, accumulate, comparison, min, max. Uh, square root, inverse square root, and inverse estimate simply just computes uh, for square root, inverse square root, and inverse estimate. It is uh, pretty self-explanatory. However, for FP integer type convert, uh, this is the format. So it is a simple convert from floating point to integer or vice versa. It also has the the option to include the rounding rounding uh, function. So RTZ round to zero, which is truncating, or other other rounding functions. Uh, next, we move on to vector reduction instructions, with, which takes two vectors, VS1 and VS2, and reduces them to a scalar value. We do the specified operation on VS1, the first value of VS1, and for all elements in VS2. So you can see below the common format, so vop.vs. Uh, v of that VV, this should be VV, VD, VS1, and VS2. The operation of VS1, 0, and all the elements of VS2. Uh, as an example for this reduction, 
is the reduction sum. So V red sum. Uh, we add VS1's first element to the sum and then add the the rest of v, the all the elements of VS2 and the sum is stored into VD. So this is very similar to other operation. So min max just takes the minim, minimum or maximum of all elements. Bitwise logical just reapplies their logical instructions over multiple elements. So and or XOR and other bitwise functions. Same with floating points. For the vector mask instructions, uh, these are instructions that manipulate the mask. Uh, we have ma mask logical, mask population count, find first set, set before set include set only, iota, and element index. We'll be going through it one by one. So for, for mask logical instructions, it is just uh, the and, xor, xnor, and nand, uh, applied to the mask. Uh, along with these uh, logical instructions, it is also mapped to pseudo instructions. So v move is uh, v and to copy the mask register. vm clear is to clear the mask register, which uses xr. vm set uses xnor to set all the mask bits to um, one. Uh, v VM not inverts the mask register and uh, uses VM nan. Next is uh, the population count of the mask bit. So simply just adds all the all the just counts the number of ones in the mask. So in this case, uh, one plus one plus zero plus zero. So just the value is stored into the register, which is two. Next is find first and set. Find first set. So it finds the first mask bit that is set. So in this case, uh, it is in the bit two. So it stores that in the register. Next is set before first mask bit. So uh, Everything else before the mask bit, bit, excluding the mask bit, is set to 1. So here we see 0 and 1 set to 1. However, the mask bit itself is not set to 1. So 0 for the rest, for the succeeding uh, bits. Uh, set include first mask bit, however, is the same except includes the first mask bit. So 0 to 2 since two is the first mask bit. Set only first mask bit uh, is self-explanatory and only sets the first mask bit and uh, everything else is zero mask bit. So for example, if you're already in VD4, you just count uh, all the mask bits that are before four, so three, two, one. So zero plus one plus one plus zero just two. We don't include the uh, uh, for itself since we want the preceding mask bits. Index is just uh, simply uh, the copy the index into the VD, the destination. Next is vector permutation instructions. So this deals with manipulating data between scalar and vector registers or uh, manip manipulating uh, elements in the vector. So first is uh, integer scalar move or floating point scalar move, which takes a single scalar value and puts it in the first element of the vector or vice versa. So these are the formats. So if we want to put the first ve first element of a vector into a register or vice versa. Same for the floating point. 
Next is slide. Slide moves the vector up or down by a value. Uh, for example, v slide up uh, slides the vector up by the value of uh, the register source, RS1. When sliding up, values that do not slide up, just like this 12 here, are unchanged. So there, there is a duplicate. So if you slide up the 12 here to the second uh, vector destination, the first element is unchanged since it did not uh, slide. Uh, we slide one up, on the other hand, slides up the vector up by only one value. So here a while ago, you can change the RS1 to modify how many slide ups it, it does. Here it's fixed. So the RS1's purpose now is to, um, if the vector slides up already, the RS1 replaces the uh, the first value to the value of the register source. This is similar for slide down. So same concept for slide down. Next is the gather instructions. So this is similar to uh, the gather and scatter methods we were talking about a while ago. So the, for the example, um, for vrgather.pv, uh, the first element of vs1 is 3. So we go to the index 3 of vs2, so which is 43. Uh, we then put this into the first element of vd. So vs1 acts as the index for v, for vd. Ah, VS1 acts as the index for where to put the values of VS2 into VD. So as you can see, when I equals 0, VS0 zero equals 3. So VD0 equals VS2 with the index of 3. Next is the compre compress instruction. So it, it simply just compresses uh, the according to the mask so all it will only take all that are that have a mask of one so for this example we it is one four and five so the rest are discarded one four and five are then uh first uh are then moved to the first three elements of the vd and the rest of the succeeding bits of VD are unchanged. So whatever the value, value was previously, it's still there. Lastly, whole vector move is uh, similar to the vector move we talked about a while ago, uh, except this has an option to, um, cop, uh, to group them like Elmul does. So v, vmv1r.v, uh, just moves one vector to another, so pretty simple. VM two R, how VMV two R, however, moves. Uh, for this example, uh, it is V twelve, right? So it moves V twelve and V thirteen. So it groups two vectors together and moves it into V ten and V eleven, and so on. So VMV four R, it groups V eight, V nine, V ten, and V twelve. Ah, V nine. V8, V9, V10, and V11 and moves it into V4, V5, V6, and V7. Similar with VMV8R. 